you guys are up awful close to each other. What's going on? <laughs> I was playing with his box. What? With his air box. And I guess this is our electric box. That's our electric box. Yep. Damn, dude, you didn't cut those out of stickers. Those are painted? They're painted. That. That's going to be the number one comment is that those got to be stickers. Yeah. <laughs> But that's a that's a compliment in my world if they think it's a sticker. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I okay. wanted to do your face, but nobody wants to see my face anymore. It's gonna make to. make you look like Jesus, electric electric Jesus, and wind, yeah, wind blowing Jesus. I'm I'm feeling more like old man. Uh, okay. Time is old. catching up with me. Father time, Jesus. Father time, Jesus. <laughs> but uh, no, those are really kick-ass, dude. I like Thanks. those a lot. And they, you know, this is a fun truck. It's supposed to be fun, fast, dangerous. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, kick-ass. So, um, I've been thinking about the grill, okay. and I think I want to push it in yeah. and give it a little bit of depth. That'll make it look pretty, uh, pretty cool. Just your centerpiece. Just a centerpiece. Okay. So, uh, how have the guys mocked that up or? Just push it back. I want to go as far as we can. If it's back even like a inch, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. That would be really hard either. I what think. is? Mm -hmm. You guys got to learn to pick up after yourselves, man. That's wiring. That's Kenny. That's Kenny. That's it's 100 on the floor. It's Kenny. Well, look, 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 look right Kenny. here. There's Kenny. There's more. There's more wiring. It's Kenny. See, it says his name on it. Yep. Heat shrink, Kenny. <laughs> There's some right there. Uh, some. Yeah, Kenny. All right, so Richard had an idea about kind of recessing the grill a little bit and just giving it a pocket, you know, just to change something on the front end. So we've got it set back in there. Kenny made some tabs, spaced it back. So really, we just need to see how Richard, you know, likes it, what, what's his thoughts on it. So about to get him back here and see what he thinks. I hear somebody yelling my name while I'm trying to have my morning coffee in my coffee mug that has Gas Monkey on it. <laughs> That's a nice mug. <laughs> get it now, GasMonkeyGarage.com. <laughs> no, so we got the grill set back you need a chair you need a chair no it's just it's not as far it doesn't have that deep mouth that i wanted to have well that's as far as we can go we're like up against well we have probably a good quarter inch away from fans and stuff like that there's no more length we can get well obviously we're going to trim this tab clean yeah and then if we clean this up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Where's Mike Coy? Coy! Hello, Mike. What's up? I'm thinking that there's two ways we could go about this. About One, what? well, this didn't, it went back, but it didn't go back far enough to give me the depth that I wanted. Okay. So do we come in and tape this and then paint the inside of this stainless the color that we did in here? I can if we paint it. It's going to appear to have more depth than it does. Definitely. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like pocket. Now, if we're doing that, do we want to tape off the front of this where it is shiny, which is a lot of taping off, and then shoot it in the same gray so that we get this lip, and then all of these boxes inside are this 2024 Ford. Yeah. If we're going to paint this, uh, then yeah, I think we do need to paint that. But we're gonna leave the chrome strip on the out. Right, we'll leave yes. this, yeah. So we'll, we'll do just like they did where all the pockets are painted. But if you're doing that, I would also do these. Mm, I don't have to, but we can come back and do them later. If we can put it together, I can do the grill and that, and then you can look Let's at it. Let's do the decide. grill and that first. And the reason I say that is I'm trying to emphasize performance. Everything coming through here is kick ass and go fast and all that kind of stuff and if we go too far then where do we stop then it's like well do we do something on the back vessels do we do you know i think if we stick it straight to the idea of performance and and, and that's the gut punch i think that's what we do you want to go that dark gray yeah i think we go that color you don't want to do silver nope i think we do that what, color. what silver <laughs> the, the silver we did earlier and then i can redo nope. it gray. oh yeah then you can redo it yeah well um <laughs> it's time for uh cut and take class uh, for the preschooler here and uh, what is it it is 9 10 I have made a major decision I'm done for the day you're good you're good go and go enjoy your air conditioned office
All right, so while Coy's got the grill off doing his thing, obviously we built an intake right here. And for a supercharged Coyote, this little two and a half inch hole is not enough. So what we're gonna do is take and open it up a little bit, kind of mimic the, the slots in the grill, kind of give it that look, and then take and find some kind of mesh around here and put it in behind there. Maybe paint it, something like that, give it a little bit of character because you can't see through there, but make sure we can get enough air to that engine that we need because it's gonna be a monster. so it's time for the exhaust on the f100 the mf79 and just as mean as it is we need a badass exhaust we all looked at your comments and we're super excited y'all agreed nascar boom tubes too so what we're gonna do is take our magnaflow performance stuff and then just kind of make our own exhaust under here i mean nothing's new it's all cool so we're gonna come off the headers throw some v-bands on there Come in the down pops, go into an H pop, and then we're gonna turn it out right in front of the tires and go into some NASCAR boom tubes. Man, I cannot express how excited I am that y'all chose this, so let's get after it. Y'all all voted, we like the two NASCAR boom tubes. But well, here's the thing, we're gonna make them in-house. We're not buying them? Specifically, what? you're gonna make them. Okay. So I've made a few of them before, give you some pointers. Cut this bad boy in half, get mm -hmm. it direct. And then what we'll do is we'll take one side and pie it. Okay. It'll get us out to whatever width we want. I say just a three chamber, maybe like three inch. So figure okay. out what that is, wedge your first pot. That'll give us where we need to land in there, and then we can build the rest, which we'll pie it, mm -hmm. and then we'll fill it with plate, but we'll get that guesstimate once I get the exhaust out to you. Yeah. But for now, you can go ahead and start doing that. Just making the outers. Yeah, so enjoy cutting this big old giant pop in half. It's gotta be perfect. <laughs> we can weld it. Yeah. It's well, metal. It's gonna look really good. Uh, it's gonna be super loud. That's the thing, coyotes are already loud. They kind of don't sound good, but we might as well put a megaphone on it. Yeah, but we have a lot of sounds getting inside the cab. If you roll the windows up, turn the AC on, it might be okay. It's not our problem. It might be okay. Now you might be thinking, is this a boom tube? Because it don't look like it. But I'm gonna put another sheet metal right here, and then we have our foundation for the boom tube. Then we can baffle it on the inside so it can shoot out the boom there, shoot out the boom there, and right there. All the booms. We got one more to make, and then give it to Josh so he can paint it out. So we got to the back side of our mufflers. Now it's time to take and turn these out to where we can get into our tips. This is a really big exhaust. We're running three inch on here. There's not a lot of room. So we're gonna try to keep it as tight as we can right here. That way we would go into the boom tubes. It's just nice and sleek right at the bottom of the, you know, the quarter panel. So fingers crossed we can figure something out in here. Time to play like a jigsaw puzzle or whatever. As you can see, our boom tubes, I put a little bit longer length on them. You might be wondering why. You can make them longer, and then you can do Richard's famous baloney cut. And then match it up with the body line. So, as you can see on this side, 
Already did that, matched it up, centered it out in the hole, and then cut it. So we're gonna clean it up just a tad bit, maybe add another weld on the end so the chambers on the inside aren't rattling or moving around. But now I just gotta copy it on that side and then have Josh weld that thing up, and that'll be it. Booming. All right, so the exhaust is done. Uh, the truck is down on its brand new gunny wheels. Thanks, gunny, by the way, these are awesome. But we wanna get it out of the lift where we can really get the height adjusted, uh, get it all squared up, get the hood on, and plus we really just wanna hear this exhaust. to do left just the wheels from jtx we go get those put the hood on we need to get a good driving tune on it right mm -hmm. yep. Yep. So, do we have him booked uh no we're waiting on the wheels but i figure we're going in the morning so we can go ahead and book him for tomorrow afternoon possibly i mean we're gonna be cutting it close if we don't because what bonus is in three days two days something trace days trace dios <laughs> well dios Leave it to Kenny to correct my Spanish. Uh, we finally made it out here to JTX Forged. Uh, he's cutting us some wheels for the uh, MF79, and it's not really that far out here, but it's a long damn ways. I'm a city boy. This is the country. That's good. Yeah. Been a few machine shops in your life up there, right? Yeah, but I mean, this is impressive. Clean, There's right? a lot of machines. Yeah. Clean for a machine shop. I, I'm picky about that. You've seen my shop. Mm -hmm. It gets messy at the end of the build, and that's about it. Yeah. So, we, what's uh, the big wheels you're making now? What's the biggest? Thirty inch. Thirty inches. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What does that block? What does it weigh at first? 150 to 180 pounds. Damn. Yeah. So you start with a square, or with, with a block, Some. it's not already down to a certain size. Some. A lot are like this. Okay. This, this is out, out of polish, ready to go. That's going in the machine. So you um, polish them before you build them? Yes. And then polish them after you build them. That's a massive operation, dude. It is. I want to see the welder before we leave, because I... Yeah, I, we're going to go do that. That board tech is cool looking, dude. We're going to go do that. So, like, you, something you've got designed that you already sell, a few, you know, that you already sell, say, a set of those, mm -hmm. how long does it take to make a set? Because you're, you're already programmed, you're in the computer. Once they're out here. Yeah. Once they're out here, each wheel's in there for two to five hours, I would ah. say, in that area. Each wheel. And then they go to finish. Then they go to polish, you know, final polish, caps, box, that whole process. And we're gonna walk through that whole, we'll walk through that whole. Now process. I wanna see it all, that's why I came. Yep. 28s, 30s mainly cut on these bigger machines in here. You can see there are bigger wheels. That's a huge oh, wheel. Yeah, yeah. How many wheels are you turning out a day? That's a good question. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you to it. That's a good question. No, I mean, once you add it up, how many sets go out of here in a week to the wheels? 50 wheels move a day. Wow. This is the biggest thing. A lot of people always say when they come visit, how do you find these guys? They this is what they do all day. day. Yeah. They got a buffer in their hand all day, Paul. All day. They don't make machines for that. Yeah. They do, but they're just expensive. How the wheels turn out in the end with this? It's better. I, 
hands are touching the wheels all the way through. That's different. That is. Who else is doing, you know, like who, that, uh, that end of it, the, the attention to detail all the way through the build of the wheels. Well, it's all hands, it's all American. I mean, that's what's badass. Yeah, that's all of us. We're in here from start to finish building the wheels, all the way. When we get back here, they're inspecting the wheels, wiping them down, the finals, it's getting touched. I got three, we got three guys on this table that uh, we'll check off each wheel before it goes in the box. Quality control is outrageous, man, I love it. These are going to powder, obviously, that's why they're sanded and whatever, but they're getting done gloss black. So they're- Any powder here? Not yet. Not yet? Nope. Plans are drawn. Building's getting, it, it's coming soon. Yes. Coming soon. And then back here, welder, true, tables, all of it. Use that table to heat barrels, to expand the barrel to drop the centers in. Okay. Centers are dropped in on this table, like barrel will come here, boom. Drop the center in, cut the air on, cool the barrel off. Once the barrel cools, it suctions around that that center. And it's tight. You can't really guess. Can't get it out. And then it goes to the true. Okay. This machine, they're, they're spinning it. Got a air hammer on it to move the center a little bit to make sure that wheel's true and straight. And then it goes to the welder after that. Yep. thing I've got to ask I seen skid marks wheels powder coated mm -hmm. before they were welded mm -hmm. I'm a welder I don't understand how that's possible without popping that powder coat dude it's taped off it's still heat though <laughs> I was blown away I was like damn it's already powder coated that's rad. Dodge, Dodge 5.0 right here yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's laughing. <laughs> These got stuff. Just hunt, you know, stuff. No weld. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that that center ain't. I mean, it's not. It's not going anywhere. That's wild. And you can almost feel in the barrel a little bit where that center. The bulge. It, yeah. Damn. How long you been in business? Me. We've been doing this a little over five years. Right at five years. It's a hell of an operation for five years. This is rad. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid you can feel that bulge a lot more. Really? Yeah, it's weird. And I don't like that because I feel like it distorts. So that's all in machining to how that's going to sit and, yeah. and if it's going to bulge it out. If he takes a thousand, a hundred thousand off the center, more in the machine around the outside of the wheel. So, yeah. you know how many of these we ruined before we got it right? Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, I'm sure you recycle all the yeah. cuttings and uh, any mess ups, all. everything gets recycled. All of it. Um, we added, there's a bunch of additions that happened, but we added this warehouse over here um, recently for the two piece, for the, you know, put stock on the shelves, all that stuff. but. Once you get back here, you get to see some of the, uh, yeah, those are all two piece barrels, the welded in centers. Um, and that's what I was talking about. That, that's 150, I mean, that's, that chunk is just nasty. That's it? That's a 24 inch wheel center, yeah. Concave wheel center, 24, for a two piece wheel. That's what it starts as. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the back pad of the wheel back there. Like, that's the back side of the wheel. Yeah. And then those have been machined down. You know, you see those that are nice. Yeah. Those were those. Those two are the same thing. Wow. I gotta say, this is freaking a lot of wheels, man. Yeah. yeah that's one thing I gotta say. There ain't a room here that was dirty. Not, Even the polishing really. room. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, is this us? Is it? Yeah. The rum yes, roll. That's you. That's you. Come on, man. See what we think. What? Oh yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah, that's gonna work just fine. That'll be good. Fucking money. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's it. <laughs> that's on it. I, I wasn't gonna do it. I didn't Are you call kidding me? Out. Are you kidding me? They're gonna stay braided? Are they gonna yeah. stay? Yeah. Just like my Rolls Royce. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. 
Is this a front or a rear? That's a rear. That's it's a rear? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Good color, right? Huh? Good color? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think that gray and the lighter the truck and all, that'll go good. Now that's going to look really sexy on there. And we got them just in time for Bandacy Truckers. Tires are laying there, including an extra set of rears. Including? I don't uh, know what's that for. What do you need an extra set of rear tires for? Well, hell, I don't know. I might, want to, <laughs> might need to do some test and tuning. But no, that's badass, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they good. look good. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Get you some of that. For the first time ever, we let the crowd out there in the old interwebs decide what we were gonna build, how we were gonna build it, how we were gonna power it, and what its general style was going to be. So let me introduce you to the MF-79. Get you some of that. you out there think that my deadlines aren't real well I can tell you right now they are I gave these guys 35 days to build this truck the way that you out there in the interweb spec it and I built in a little buffer because I know sometimes things can just go wrong but 38 days later and the day we need to leave for Bandacy truckers this truck is done why don't you tell them about it all right guys so let's jump in the MF 79 dude just for starters we stripped it all the way down to the chassis cut the front clip cut the rear clip put a full ride tech suspension underneath here box chassis i mean it's pretty much a race chassis underneath there then we'll move up to the front supercharged gen 3 coyote t56 magnum transmission into a carbon fiber drive shaft i love saying that a built curry rear end 35 spine axles big oversized wheelwood brakes i mean Dude, drivetrain and chassis on this is a monster. We got all the power and we got all the stopping we need. We gotta be able to get it down on the road. And we used Continental Contact Sports and wrapped those around some custom JTXs. Actually, the first pair, he's gonna start offering now. You can get some. We had System X here doing some other stuff. So we went ahead and had them coated and these things are slick and they look good going down the road. All right, and for the interior, I mean, it's a complete restoration slash kind of modern age vibe. We took, we wrapped a bunch of stuff in suede. I mean, badass billet shifter, and then onto the gauges. We're talking about full digital. Got rid of all the analog, uh, digital speedo, digital RPM, big screen radio so you can have your GPS, AC. I mean, it's like a modern car in here, dude. All right, so getting into the interior, I told the guys that I wanted it tastefully redone. So we stripped it all out got everything painted in a color to match the engine compartment. And then uh, we reached out to our guys, uh, Marsh over at NTX, put in a killer stereo system with a big screen, GPS, subwoofers, you name it. This thing thumps just as much as the motor does. TMI, we got with them on the bucket seats. We've got our custom uh, handle for our six speed transmission. But the coolest thing I like about the MF-79, when you start it up, well, it's got a picture of me. Woohoo! So we had a few keyboard whippers out there sitting in their mom's basement, wearing their gas monkey shirt, bitching about the fact that we didn't paint it and that we were lazy because we left it patinaed. Well, we don't leave cars patinaed because we're lazy. We leave cars like this and trucks like this patinaed because they have the right look. They have the right patina. This isn't a rusty piece of shit that we threw an old junkyard motor in. This truck deserves to look like this because all of the coolness is right down the middle on the engine compartment, on the inside, and especially putting power to the ground. And we don't need paint because you know what? We're going so fucking fast that it'd fly off anyways. So if you're pissed off about the patina, go upstairs and ask your mama to make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. All right, so there you have it. You know all about it. Now we're gonna go show it off. That's what I do best. That place got a burnout pit? Oh yeah, the burn hub, dude. Woo-hoo! We're gonna need more tires. 
You want to see the MF-79 put to the test? Well, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on alerts because we're on our way.